This workbook has a list of customer orders, and every month I'd like to extract the orders that have a total of 1,000 or greater, and put those top orders on a different worksheet, and then we can distribute that list. Here I have the headings from the original sheet, and we'll use the Excel Advanced Filter feature to get that list of orders. However, this top order list won't update automatically, so if I change these totals or add new orders, the top order sheet won't be automatically updated. But to do that, we could record a macro as we run the advanced filter and every month run that macro to update the top orders list. So to start, I'm going to turn on the macro recorder and I'll call this top order filter. And I'm going to store it in this workbook because that's the only place that I'll need to run it and click OK, and now we can see the stop button down here. To run the filter, we want the results on the top order sheet, so I'm going to start on that sheet. On the Data tab, I'll click Advanced, and we want Copy to another location. The list range is on the order sheet, and I'll select all the current cells. The criteria range is also on the order sheet, and it's this heading cell and criterion. And finally, we want to copy it to this sheet, so I'll select the four heading cells and click OK. Just widen that a bit. There's the list of orders over a thousand for the current order sheet, and I'll turn off the recording. There's the list, but if we update it, add more orders, change some of these totals, the top order sheet won't change. It's not linked to the original order list at all. To make this flexible so we can run it again next month or next time we need it, we'll go to the View tab and click Macros view macros and there we can see the top order filter. I'll click edit to see the code that was created. Now these lines that start with an apostrophe are just comments. I'm going to select those and delete them. The code that was created we can see here is going to the top orders sheet. So that's our destination sheet and selecting cell C9. So those steps we don't need in the code, so I'll select those rows and delete them. This is the piece that we do need, which is the filtering. And again at the end, the column width adjustment, we don't need that, so I'll delete those. This bit of code is the filter. On the order sheet, it has range A1 to D15, and it's going to do an advanced filter. And I'm just going to break the line here leaving a space and then clicking and doing an underscore and enter and tab and that just breaks the line up so it'll be easier for us to read. We're going to do a filter copy. The criteria range is on the order sheet F1 to F2 and I'll click here after that space and do an underscore and enter. The copy to range, we can see there's no sheet name here. Up here it says order sheet dot range. Here we don't have a sheet name, so we're going to add that and then unique equals false. So that's our filter and we're just going to make this a little more flexible so if things change next month then it will run correctly. Right now it's saying A1 to D15 but perhaps we'll have orders down to row 20 next time. To make that more flexible, instead of A1 to D15, I'm going to delete that part. So now it's just range A1. I'll click right after that and put dot current region. When I click away from that row, you'll see that it gets capitals. So it's going to go to the order sheet range A1 and use whatever is the current region. So if more rows have been added or some have been deleted, it will automatically detect the cells that it should use for the filter. So that's the first step in making it more flexible. And the other thing we're going to fix is where it says copy to range and it doesn't have a sheet name. So I'm going to just select this code, paste it in here, and change the sheet names. We want sheets top orders. That is the code that we recorded, taking out the lines that aren't necessary and then making it a bit more flexible so it'll use the current region and putting in a sheet name so there won't be any confusion even if we don't have that sheet activated when we run the code, the code will run correctly. To test it, we'll go back to this sheet 
copy a couple of rows here, paste them at the bottom. Right now we have down to row seven. We should get an extra one next time we run it because we've got one more order over $1,000. So to run the code on the View tab, Macros, View Macros, here's our top order filter. I'll click Run. I'm going to go back here. Now we're down to one more row. So it's picked up the new region and filtered the orders correctly.